We probably found out around four week mark um, when we got a call from the paediatrician saying that, oh, the newborn heel prick test, some of the results have come back and it's not looking really good. His levels have come back really high for cystic fibrosis. And at the time, we're new parents, we're sleep deprived, um, not knowing that we're actually carriers of this genetic disease, we had no idea what it was. We just knew it wasn't something that was good. Um, it hit us quite hard, to be honest. First thing you do is Google it. And when we Googled it, you know, you type in what is cystic fibrosis as you do. And um, it says you have a life expectancy back then when Joseph was diagnosed at around 25, you know. So uh, the first thing I did, I remember, was I, I read that and I burst out in tears and I, I probably threw up. We're protecting Joseph because if he has CF, um, we would sacrifice a lot of things. So going to public swimming pools because of bacteria, um, you know, no playing in sand pits. Like there's a lot of no-go zones. So Joseph, as a kid, would miss out, like no playing in the high bacteria environments that you don't realize and you just take for granted on a day-to-day -day basis where, you know, normal kids can go and play. Unfortunately, Joseph would miss out um, on that. The first time Joseph was hospitalized with CF, he was three already and half. three and a half years old. Yeah. So, and that's the first time we saw the ugly side. We always hoped, that was always like our gut. Yeah our gut hope that, you know, one day when he's older, he might not have to have CF. It yeah. maybe be a cure, you know, might find a cure or might take some medication, which he is doing now. So the future's always bright. It just, sometimes it's hard to see the future. Like gene therapy is incredible to think that, that that's pretty much a cure. Like you don't need to take medication. It's just one off and you're fixed. Yeah. And, you know, for Joseph, sometimes he just wants to, he asks us, just why can't I be normal? And, you know, we try to explain to him, you are normal. You're just, and just for him to feel just like everyone else. Yeah. Don't, not having to wake up, do treatment, not having to wake up and take medication, not having to go to the office every day to take his medication for lunch. Just little things like that. It's so close and we're really excited for it. When we met, the professors at um, Genes for Genes, it was very exciting to, you know, Sarah and I both got goosebumps when we heard about some of the research and not only to help children with cystic fibrosis, but to help children with any genetic disease. People should donate to medical research for, for gene therapy because it just gives everyone a fighting chance and everyone the same value and outlook at life and the same experiences 